Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today we are doing a webtoon reading of the Remarried Empress continuing on to episode 19, 20, and 21. Uh, it is quite interesting because it was not a huge cliffhanger in the between of romance between the emperor, the empress with their mistress and stuff like that. It was more of more of the needy greedy of the palace alone uh where we last left off was when grand duke kaufman is wanting to establish a diplomatic uh connection with another country named wool and he wants the empress to be handling this directly so wasn't a huge cliffhanger on which will rage us but it is something that is going to bring the storyline the plot line to more of a clarity for us to see what's going on and how these high superior can handle all these situations. So let's go ahead and get started. I probably said a lot of stuff that does not even make sense, so I'm so sorry. I'm trying to dissect it the best that I can to my knowledge. So let's go ahead and just get started. All right, now that we're here in episode 19, we have to do a deeper recap beside Grand Duke Kaufman. We also have to remember that Rashta is currently being blackmailed by her former slave owner. And he is also trying to play the emperor. And his feelings is being pretty much strung and attached to Rashta so deeply that he's doing everything he can to protect her. So we have to remember that too. Now that we're back, let's go ahead and continue reading episode 19. Here we go. Or start. Uh, he's a key player if we do decide to establish diplomatic relations, so there is no reason to deny his request. Then I expect you to attend the next meeting. I'm going back to the Eastern Palace. Your Majesty, should you go on ahead? I would like to stay a while longer. Where's she going? Click, click. He wants to take me to the Imperial Villa? Just the two of us? Rashta wanted to go to the special banquet. I doubt she would let Sovetiu take me to the villa without kicking up a fuss. She will definitely want to join us. <sighs> splash, splash. Oh, he's playing with the water. Isn't me, but her eyes seem to be glistening. Like she seems eager a little bit to see Prince Henry. My queen. Look at that smile. <laughs> you haven't gone back in yet? I was waiting for you because I felt you would come back for me, your majesty. After all, the best thing to do when you're lost is to stay in the same spot. <laughs> he is a little bit cheesy. <laughs> so you don't know how to get back? <laughs> well, not exactly. I didn't mean it so literally. My ha handkerchief. Handkerchief. I can't ever say that right. I'll return it to you after it's been cleaned. That way, we'll have an excuse to meet again. Uh, Prince Henry, about my birthday. We won't be able to dine together that day. Why not? Won't there be a formal dinner where other guests are also invited? The Emperor wants me to go to the Imperial Villa with him. Oh, I see. I I'm really sorry. No, please don't apologize. I wouldn't want you to feel pressured. The Remarried Empress, episode 19. I think this gift is too much, your highness. But why are you thinking of giving the Empress a ring as a gift? It's Empress Navier's birthday. What? Isn't this taking things a bit too far, your highness? The Eastern Empire may be powerful, but so is a Western Empire. 
There's no need for you to lower yourself like this, your highness. It's a gift, not a bribe. What's that? Isn't it obvious? It's a priceless handkerchief. Waggle, waggle. Oh my god, he turned into a bird wagging the freaking... Oh my gosh. Do you want me to tie it around your neck? The things I do for the prince. <laughs> In? Could that pr could the prince pin pal be library? She's in the library right now. Hello, queen. Are you here to give me my handkerchief back? Did Prince Henry tie it on you? <gasps> he looks so adorable. Oh my, Lanta. Okay. What a pretty bird you are, queen. You look so dashing with a handkerchief around your neck. Oh, she's hugging the birdie. Cute. <laughs> a musky scent. <laughs> queen, you smell like Prince Henry. <gasps> Qu queen? Queen! It, the bird flew away. <gasps> Wait a minute. Why does he half naked? <laughs> I can't believe she said that. And he's blushing. Oh, this is too cute. I can't do it. Oh. You smell like Prince Henry. She knows how I smell. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh, my poor eyes. Your Highness, why are you sitting there buck naked it's not appropriate for someone of your status you please put some trouser on at the very least it's making me very uncomfortable as empress navaria the person you went to see with that handkerchief tied so nicely around your neck i couldn't say please be honest with me your highness did you go to see empress navaria that's none of your business so, stop. Though I have no objections if your highness wishes to court someone, it's different if you are courting the empress of a powerful empire. In fact, I would say your highness cannot court an empress of another empire regardless of how powerful they are. Do you want to jeopardize diplomatic relations with the eastern empire due to a scandal, your highness? It's nothing like that, so there's no need to be dramatic. Is that so? Can I take your word for it, your highness? Why aren't you saying anything? I also forgot to ask you the most important thing. Are, you, are the feelings mutual? Uh. Guess who came by? Your highness! What is it? Don't you have anything you want to say to me? No. But what about you? I believe you have something to say to me. Uh, uh, she is always crying, dude. God dang it. I know he dislikes her, but I wish he wouldn't be so obvious about it. She's the object of Emperor Sylvacious affections. I think... <laughs> I think your highness is an amazing person. Ugh. Full body chills. What? To be continued. This. I don't know. She's. She's kind of scary, bro. She's kind of scary. I give you that. I think your highness is an amazing person. Uh huh. Oh, I'm so sorry, your highness. <laughs> you must have been taken aback by my sudden tears. To tell you the truth, she's clenching her. Since a false rumor that I'm a runaway slave started to spread, people started to started being cruel to me. People who were nice to me before, Lady Rashta, are now laughing at me and mocking me. But your highness treats me the same as before. Of course, we aren't on good terms, but still, I was moved. They must have mocked her quite badly if she finds this touching. Oh, is that so? Good day. 
Oh dear. Your Highness, wait for me. Don't you think being too cold... Don't you think you're being too cold, Your Highness? Do you expect me to be friendly to someone who tried to deceive me? Well, I take your point. Anyway, when is Ergi coming? Did you deliver my letter to him safely? I did, Your Highness. Stop, stop. The Remarried Empress, Episode 20. Your Majesty, have you heard? Duke Ergi Claude arrived at the palace today. I'm sure Her Majesty is already aware of this, Laura. Does Her Majesty also know who the Duke was with all day? Since Duke Ergi is well known for being close friends with Prince Henry. Prince Henry? Her head perks up the moment she hears his name. No, he was with the slave girl, Rashta. Apparently they spent the whole day together. Stop. Oh, I heard they seemed to get along well and they both ended up getting involved in an incident that took place earlier today. They were taking a walk together when a nobleman humiliated, humiliated Rashida by asking the Duke if he knew she was a runaway slave. And then, pow, almost before he finished speaking, Duke Ergi punched him. Thank you for what you did today, Your Grace. There's no need to thank me. I simply taught a scoundrel some manners. Well, I am very grateful. You must have heard what he said earlier. I've been distressed lately because this false rumor about me has been sh spreading. Ergi, Cloud, member of the Bovohan royal family. Does this kind of thing happen to you often? Damn, them all to hell. They've got some nerve to say you've a slave to your face, and even if that were true, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I should have given them more of a beating. That sounds quite scary, Your Grace. I actually came here to meet a friend, but I'm glad I ran into you first. I doubt you would have been able to deal with that scoundrel properly if I hadn't been there. Though I'm sure my friend is throwing a fit right now because I'm late. He was he has quite a temper, you see. In any case, it would be best if people stop spreading these lies, but it's unlikely that fools like that will suddenly stop talking nonsense. I suggest you deal with the problem as soon as possible. There's nothing I can do. Even though the man who started the rumor made it clear it wasn't true, nobody believes him. Then make someone else the target. That will be faster than trying to respond to the rumors. What do you mean? You're currently everyone's number one target. So if you can get people talking about someone else, everyone will attack them instead. That's... That's how it all starts. Like, you idiot. I guess. Just, like, have a fire over here. Let's start another fire over there. Like... Ugh, I hate rumor starters. Trust me. I found the note when I woke up this morning. What does it mean? The meeting about establishing diplomatic relations with Loops is happening today. I need to do well. On the eight continent across the world, there are two continents where we don't know if they are inhabited. Contact with the other remaining continents is infrequent. The continent of Wool, where the Eastern Empire is situated, and the continent of Hua, where Lut is located, are closer than other continents, but they are still very far apart. It takes at least half a year to travel between the two continents. Holy moly. This is why we have not been able to reach a decision on whether to establish diplomatic ties. This meeting is adjourned. The only thing that I that was decided during the meeting was that I've been appointed to resolve this. Grand Duke Kaufman, do you have a minute? There's something I'd like to ask you. Go ahead, your majesty. Why did you recommend appointing me to oversee this matter? Is it something you don't want to do? I'm merely uh, asking out of curiosity. A few days ago, you... You told me that I was a fool if I didn't protect what is mine. <laughs> I haven't changed my mind about what I said. 
He has some nerve to smile like that after saying something so offensive. But there's nobody else in this palace that I think would do a better job than Your Majesty. Why is that? Your Majesty was the only one who understood me when I talked about the Imona and Emote. That's the only reason he recommended me. I'm sure I told you when we last spoke, but I only know a handful of words of Lup Luptian. I'm not just saying this to be polite. Yes. But that's a lot more than what most people know. Does he really think it's fine for me to lead this important work just because I know a few words of Lutean? Now, if you'll excuse me, your majesty. <sighs> huh? Uh, oh. Your majesty. He looked upset during the meeting as well. He looked troubled. Is something wrong? Empress, do you find foreigners attractive? Is he jealous? Oh my gosh. I cannot stand this guy. Like, okay. To be continued. Empress, do you find foreigners attractive? That is none of your concern, your majesty. How can I not be concerned? You are my wife. And yet he made rush to his mistress without even asking me for my opinion. <sighs> men are so possessive. Okay, not all men are possessive, but there are certain men and women out there who are very possessive. They can be out there cheating and having extra mistresses and miss... I don't know. But... Oh, I hate people like that. Like it's such a double standard. Like you're so they're so biased. Are you that smitten with Grand Duke Kaufman? You seem to be sighing over him. Please don't get the wrong idea. We were simply discussing the loot situation. <sighs> After the meeting on loot, I met with the officials from each department to agree the budget for the year. There are no changes to the tax system planned. There is also no rise in inflation. Inflation. In, in, in inflation. I suggest that overall we can aim for a similar budget to last year. Last to last year, since I don't foresee any border conflicts with other nations. The tax revenue is similar to the revenue from last year, so we can just recycle last year's budget plan. The only thing that's left is deciding how much to budget for the mistress. It would be easy to calculate if we had records of how much has been spent on Lady La Rashta. As no funds have been allocated yet, it is probably recorded in His Majesty ledgers. Lady Marty was from a commoner family. Her situation is also similar in that she became a mistress at the start of the Empress reign. I don't think we can base a budget on that because of inflation. I didn't even have time to eat lunch. I wonder if Queen came to visit. Who could that be? I'm not sure. Your Majesty. You have some nerve approaching your ma Her Majesty. I have to tell you something. I may not be Your Majesty's lady in waiting any longer. But it would weigh on my conscience if I didn't inform you of this. I believe Viscount Loteshu is holding something over Rasha's head. <laughs> She's flinching. Stop, stop. Huh? Rasha, your majesty. Um, may I ask your majesty a question? You may. It's about Duchess Tuania. Duchess Tuania? Is she a woman of low, loose morals by any chance? Did she really just ask me that? Duchess Tuania is a good person and a good friend, but she's always surrounded by men and it seemed like she enjoys the attention. I don't think that's proper for a married woman. The Duchess is popular with everyone, not just men. 
but I've only seen her socializing with men at parties. It's probably just seemed that way because men and women partner with each other to dance at parties. Oh, I'm not asking this to say something bad about her. It's just because I have no idea. She's certainly not someone who will behave with impropriety, so don't speak of the matter again. Yes, Your Majesty. Why did she ask me about the Duchess, Countess Eliza? Do you know if here, if here have been any bad rumors about Duchess Tuania recently? Not that I am, I'm aware of. Oh wait. I heard that Viscount Landre has been acting like a lovesick puppy after dancing with the Duchess during the New Year's ceremony. I thought that perhaps Rasha was planning on creating gossip about someone else to take the focus away from her. Let me know right away if you hear any questionable rumor. I will, Your Majesty. The Remarried Empress, Episode Twenty One. It's probably best that we quickly take care of our task and leave the day before, since it takes several hours to get to the Imperial Villa. Don't you agree? I beg your pardon. Oh, you're talking about my birthday trip. You really have a one-track mind when you're preoccupied with work. Is it all right with you if we leave the day before? Yes, I will rearrange my schedule accordingly. Do you remember the tree that we planted at the Imperial Villa? It was a tree that grants you wishes. More specifically, it was a tree that grows in our empire that makes your wish come true if you wish upon it. When I was a crown princess, I wanted to plant the tree so I could wish that I grow taller. <sighs> uh -uh. Your Highness, if you plant it, then it won't be my wish. Fill the hole up again. We're husband and wife. If you're married, it's like you are one with your partner. So it doesn't matter which of us dug it. Is that true? Yep, and that's how we planted the tree. What did you wish for? That I become taller.、Uh. We were scolded heavily because I caught a bad cold, and Sylvester hurt his hand as a result. <laughs> it seemed like it seems a wishing tree granted your wish to grow taller, Sylvester. What I actually wished for that day wasn't to grow taller. I wished that I always have a good relationship with Sylvester, but it didn't come true. Five days before Navier's birthday, numerous pre presents started arriving. A magazine about Despian, featuring only men that my mother sent. She probably wants me to distract myself by taking on a lover of my own. Rare books, luxurious clothes, gems, and a love potion. How suspicious! Cue. Blah 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 blah. Oh, Queen. Did she hit the? Did he really hit the door? That's so cute. <gasps> did you carry this all by yourself? You know, I didn't think Henry was such a cruel master. He should have brought this over himself or sent someone to deliver it. <sighs> pat pat. Oh, the bird was like shaking. Why are you shaking your head? Do you not like it when someone talks badly about your master? The nod. <laughs> What a good bird you are! What could he have sent me? Huh? This is. Dang it! To be continued. Ah. All right, guys. That is literally it. I.、Uh, it is literally Navier's birthday coming up in the next episode, and I really want to know what Prince Henry have in that present box. But I guess we have to tune in next week to really find out what is in that box. No spoiler, you guys. I mean, you can you can tell me. I'm still gonna read it regardless. But all right, guys.、Uh, tune in next week for the next upcoming Remarried、uh, Empress episode. 22 all the way to 24. I see you guys next time. Feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up. Bye. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro.
Oh god, 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 Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, ah, no, no, back, 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 ah, oh my god. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, oh my god. Why are you chasing me? No! Oh, 